everyone, this is Joy here. Welcome to Yunogo know, YouTube channel. So I've been doing the series of after procedure home care, including microneedling and fractional laser. And one of the most common requests we got is, can we do a video for CO2 laser aftercare? And CO2 laser is one of the most commonly done laser treatments in Korea. It's an ablative laser that actually removes the outer um, layers of our skin. And it is used for various purposes, uh, most commonly for mold removal, face wards, um, spots, and pigmentation treatments. And CO2 laser is actually the first laser treatment I ever got. And just by removing like molds and face wards, I could see a dramatic change on my overall skin tone and complexion. While it's a very popular and effective um, laser treatment, the recovery time can be pretty long. Um, sometimes it takes up to a few weeks depending on how deep it gets into your skin. And also proper home care is very important because one of the major side effects after CO2 laser treatment is hyperpigmentation. You can have a hyperpigmentation without the proper sun protection and aftercare. So based on my own experience and my interviews with Korean dermatologists that we work with at Unigo, I will walk you through some of the do's and don'ts CO2 aftercare treatment. Before I start, please note that my tips are pretty much general aftercare instructions. And since every case and every individual is different, you should seek for detailed medical advice from your dermatologist. And let's start with the don'ts, what not to do after the CO2 laser treatment. On the day you're getting the procedure, you'll probably have some um, tapes on the parts that you got the laser treatments that help you with the skin regeneration. So please don't remove the tapes and it's best not to wash your face on the day. It's better not to get the water inside of the wounds. And also avoid hot and humid environment like sauna, gym jilbang, or really high intensity workout that makes you sweat. And of course, try to avoid smoking and drinking alcohol for about a week because you want to focus on healing of your skin and you want to minimize the risk of getting any inflammation. And third, please avoid using any active skincare ingredients like retinol, whitening product, and vitamin C because your skin is already very sensitive after going through a laser treatment. So you really want to give your skin some time to heal and focus on the skin regeneration. And number four, after a few days, you will see some scabs on your face. And I know it's really, really tempting to remove the scabs because it, it looks kind of like all over your face, but please do not remove the scabs. Just um, let it fall out naturally because if you accidentally just force it and leave a scar, then it can um, lead to a hyperpigmentation. So it's better to wait and be patient and wait until the scabs to fall out naturally. And also, please do not exfoliate at least for about a week, up to two weeks, depending on how sensitive you feel on your skin. And even after two weeks, please do not use any physical exfoliator, like a scrub, because it can get into your wounds or it can actually hurt your wounds. So I will recommend something really gentle, an anti-irritant exfoliator, um, like made of um, PHA. PHA exfoliant actually helps to um, strengthen the skin barrier while also hydrating the skin. So if you want to exfoliate, I will recommend a gentle exfoliator made with uh, PHA. So I use this um, Ceramine Botanical Peeling Gel, which is made of PHA. Um, it's a hypoallergenic peeling gel uh, made for sensitive skin, and this is very gentle, made of papaya, also sika, that which is supposed to soothe and calm any irritation. So make sure you use a very gentle, sensitivity-tested exfoliator, especially after the laser treatments. And it's better to avoid makeup for about a few weeks, but then I know we all have to, we cannot really avoid makeup completely. So in that case, rather than using a makeup base or foundation, I would recommend to use BB cream or BB cushion with the skin regeneration um, ingredients. So I recommend um, these two products. So one is the um, Ceramine the Essence BB Cushion. So while it's um, giving the skin 
some glow and it tones up the skin. It has uh, plant-based ceramides to increase some um, strengthen skin barriers and um, to use for skin regeneration. And it comes with just one tone, one color, um, and it's going to blend into your own skin tone. I would say it fits for most um, Asian um, skin tone. And then the other product is Oxen Suricol's um, Intensive Blemish Balm, which is also made for um, some clinical use. And this blemish balm also contains Centella Asiatica and then the peptides to keep the moisture and give some skin some soothing and calming effect. So this will be a good alternative um, to the skin makeup than the makeup base or foundation. Let's move on to what to do after uh, the CO2 laser treatment. So after the CO2 laser treatment, our skin is wounded and it becomes very sensitive and irritated. And also our skin barrier is very weakened, so my tips will help healing the wounds and uh, regenerate faster. So first, um, after the treatments, you probably um, get some skin regeneration tapes at the scar as well as the prescribed ointment from your dermatologist. Please follow the instructions and keep using those um, as long as it's recommended by individual cases. And in addition to the skin regeneration tape and ointment, uh, please apply skin regeneration cream as frequently as possible. As I mentioned earlier, our skin is damaged from the, the laser treatments and thus the skin barrier is weakened. So it's best to use some ingredients and products um, that are made to help recover the skin and strengthen the skin barrier. So ingredients like epidemic growth factors or ceramides uh, will be great as aftercare product um, for the laser treatments. So personally, I use um, this Ceramine Time Solution Cream as my skin regeneration cream. So Ceramine is a brand um, based in Korea that is created by Anjin Bio Group. So they use uh, many patented ingredients for most of their skincare products. And their products are uh, formulated with very mild, gentle ingredients and they're made for the sensitive skin. So including this cream and then the BB cushion, the exfoliator that I mentioned earlier are all uh, made by Ceramide. And this cream is uh, formulated with Ceramide which helps for um, strengthening skin barrier and also keeps the moisture within which will prevent the dryness and irritation. Uh, which is especially good after um, some intensive um, laser treatment like CO2. And this cream is made for recovery and calming. It's uh, formulated also with um, its own patented ingredient that promotes collagen formulation and uh, fibroblast growth. So it's quite rich but not greasy or super heavy cream, which is perfect to layer over and over um, every, every few hours. Uh, so let me show you some texture. So, my hand. so it's very creamy but absorbed into the skin quite quickly. And very very mild botanical scent. If you're trying any new products, um, then please use it before the laser treatment, at least couple weeks before to make sure the product actually suits to your skin and you don't feel any um, irritation. So while recovering, I will skip many steps in the skincare routine. Maybe use a very gentle and mild um, cleanser and then um, soothing toner and then this regeneration cream. And then third, it's a very important point, we need to protect our skin from the sun. It's better to actually not be under the sun but it's impossible if you need to go out and go to work and um, meet people. Um, so please wear the sunscreen with minimum SPF 30. And I use this Rovectin anti-irritant line, which is also a medical grade and made for um, the, the clinic uses. And uh, what I really like about this um, sun cream is SPF 50. And also it has some tone up effect. Remember I said it's better to avoid skin makeup. So with this sunscreen, then I don't really need to wear makeup because of the tone-up effect. It just creates a very natural glow onto my skin, which I'm actually wearing this uh, Rovectin um, sunscreen now. 
So choose your favorite uh, sunscreen with minimum SPF um, 30 protection and then please wear them whenever you go out. Reapply them because it can disappear after a few hours. It's really important to protect our skin from the sun because once the scabs fall out and then you will still have some redness and spots on your face but with the sun, then it can actually stay there and creates a hyperpigmentation. So it's really important to do sun protection, like as always, especially after the CO2 laser treatments. Okay, thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave a comments in the video. And also don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Unico channel. And we also have an Instagram and Unico shop. So please, um, if you want to get some updates on the new skincare products or any tips, uh, please follow us on Instagram as well. Well, thank you for watching and see you next time.